Good morning, tubers. I hope you're having a fine day. Today's episode will be a show and tell, and it will be a show and tell about how to remove this shiny object. I can't focus on it. I just have to stick it in the wheel. This camera, sometimes I just want to smack them. Right here. See this shiny object right here? Well, this is kind of like a big rig hubcap. Now, let me tell you how not to remove one of these. Don't remove one of these with a big prize bar and screwdrivers and tire irons. Because if you do, it will, it will have a shape that is somewhat like this, which doesn't really make it good for anything except maybe straining gravel through. Uh, if you remove it with one of these, this little tool was in the truck, and I thought that you would take it and they would put it on one of these and walk it around and pull it off. I didn't realize that some of these actually have a little threaded nut in them, and that little threaded nut holds that thing in place. I'm gonna walk around the vehicle. This is me walking. My old man walk where I moan and groan a little bit as I go. Uh, let's see if I can find a way to get over here without falling. Yeah, this is this is treacherous and tricky. Oop. Okay, so this is my spare tire. A little rusty, by the way. This little threaded thing actually goes on the part of the threads that stick out beyond the part of the threads that hold the nuts in place. And there's two of them on that wheel. And so you use this little tool to unscrew those. I didn't know that. And I was in a rest area. And I was changing a tire. And when you're in a rest area changing a tire, pretty much you just want it done. And you're not going to go in the house and look on the internet and find out how to do it. You didn't do what I did, which is prize on it, yank on it, bang on it, hammer on it. Do whatever you have to do to get the wheel off. And it makes your wheel look like this. Yeah, like that. So, I just wanted to give you that to show you a better way. Perhaps you can embed that into your brain so that if you ever come upon this, you have one of these tools that look like this. You'll know what to do with it. Okay, that's enough about that. Have a nice day.